All right, you're back to the hour. Coming up, how other world religions deal with the evil stuff and the leader. First, though, it is Satan and the Silver Screen. Top five list of Satan films. At number five, The Exorcist. Oh, Linda Blair as the bile spewing, contorting, spider walking, wetting herself, cursing, violent personification of evil. That thing upstairs isn't my daughter. This movie is still freaking terrifying, but it's only at number five because she wasn't actually the devil, and the movie did spawn some terrible sequels. Holding down the number of four, Satan from the South Park movie. He's vain, needy, egotistical. My time has come. And he's in love with Saddam Hussein, all of which are pretty bad in my book. I mean, the love part's cool, but the Saddam Hussein, well, I guess we all make bad choices. Number three, Robert De Niro in Angel Heart. That's right, De Niro playing Satan. You know, some religions think that the egg is the symbol of the soul. Did you know that? I could stop right there, but I won't, because the egg-eating scene alone gets you on this list. And you can't do De Niro without doing Pacino. <laughs> and while you're jumping from one foot to the next, what is he doing? He's laughing his sick f***ing ass off. OK, The Devil's Advocate was a terrible movie, but his suit and tie wearing the lawyer version of Satan rules. Christ, of course, they made Satan a lawyer. <laughs> And the number one Satan movie of all time, Legend, starring Tim Curry as the Prince of Darkness. I'm so anxious to see blood flow. As you are to drink it. This is about a man trying to stop Satan from destroying daylight. One word, heavy. <laughs> Honorable mention, Billy Crystal as Satan in that Woody Allen movie, Deconstructing Harry. Rent it for that scene alone. Nothing like a movie with that character in it, for sure. Now, most movies we see are actually from the viewpoint of Christianity when it deals with the devil. But other religions have a different take on evil and different takes on 666, hell, and all that stuff. They deal with Satan in other ways. How differently? Well, we went to a Buddhist minister, a rabbi, an imam, and a Wiccan to find out. My name is Nicole Cooper. I'm one of the high priestesses here at the Wiccan Church of Canada. My name is Ali Hindi. I'm the Imam of Salah Din Islamic Center. I'm Baruch Friedman Cole, Rabbi of Beth Tzedek Congregation. My name is Grant Ikuta, and I'm the resident uh, senior minister here at the Toronto Buddhist Church. Evil is a matter of moral choice. Uh, evil is, is uh, any action or thought uh, that uh, uh, go against uh, uh, the wish of God. Within each of us, there is a propensity for evil and a propensity for good. Good and evil are two words that are probably the two most loaded words in the English language. The connotations, both socially, culturally, and religiously, are immense. In Islam, Evil is, uh, uh, every human being has, has evil in himself and goodness in himself. And God put both of them in, in, into a human being. There are evils that are social evils, moral evils, that we choose and we inflict upon each other. And of course, there's evil that we inflict upon ourselves because of our own poor judgment. Evil would be, I would say, have to be classified as ignorance. The greatest challenge of a human being, actually this is our test in life, is to, 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 to battle evil from, from own self and from the devil. Is it evil? Who can tell? Wiccans don't believe that there is an active evil force abroad in the world, like Satan, for instance. The devil, or Satan, is merely the angel who demands absolute justice. There is no such thing as a devil or Satan per se. There is a, a what we call hell. Of course, uh, you have the side of, of the devil or Satan that he's committed uh, or actually open enemy uh, of the human being, committed to, to uh, mislead us and uh, excite the, the evil part in our own selves uh, to actually to lead us at the end to uh, uh, hellfire. Evil is not so much apart from us, but it's part of who we are in the most general terms, just as goodness is part of who we are. 
it is often commonly said to people who are becoming interested in Wicca, well, the good news is there's no sin, and the bad news is there's no absolution. We don't really combat evil, but we uh, listen to the teachings, and, and through listening to the teachings, through understanding the teachings, we realize uh, more of an enlightened, a higher consciousness. Uh, are we winning the battle against evil? Unfortunately, we are not. Uh, we, are, we have more corruption, more people uh, become astray and, and disobeying God, and we have seen the, the result of that, all this natural phenomenon, uh, tsunami and earthquake, this is, uh, this is an indication from God that he is not happy with us. It's out of our moral decisions that we either have a world of goodness or a world of evil. There you go. My friends, when we return, we're going to close it up with a final thought on evil. Because I know we always talk about evil, and we think we can find different ways to battle evil, like you heard in those pieces. But we have the ultimate way where you can battle evil at home. You ready for that? Here's what else is coming up in the show, but tomorrow. <laughs>